KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. Well, after Saturday's severe weather across Alabama, a windy and cold Sunday is in store for us today. Here's your weather extreme video for this Sunday morning, the 20th of January. And meteorologist Bill Murray will start with a picture uh, from the Montgomery Advertiser over Wetumpka looking at tornado damage with uh, God's promise, the rainbow, uh, over the, uh, over the uh, scene of devastation there. Uh, as we always say in Alabama, uh, when thunderstorms are involved, uh, expect the unexpected. And um, while this was not totally unexpected, this was a marginal event uh, yesterday. And hats uh, off to our friends at the National Weather Service. Uh, 11 minutes of lead time on the uh, tornado warning for Wetumpka yesterday. Um, uh, extremely well forecast, extremely well um, warned event yesterday. Uh, we were fearing uh, during the morning that we might be seeing this sort of thing developing in the Tuscaloosa area, but uh, fortunately uh, just uh, that storm ran into uh, an area of lesser instability. Further to the south, of course, with some breaks in the clouds and sunshine, uh, we saw more uh, thunderstorms during the afternoon and some of those were more intense. National Weather Service survey teams will be out today in parts of Otaga, Elmore, Coosa, and Dallas counties. Uh, probably going to take two days to survey all of this uh, January outbreak damage that we're dealing with. Colder temperatures on the back side of the system. Uh, of course, as you would expect, 32 at Birmingham at 6 a.m. this morning. I'm getting a little late start on this video this morning uh, just because you know, I always tell you to look up at the sky for weather, but boy, you get in a computer and you start looking at weather, and it's like uh, it's hard to tear yourself away. 32 at Birmingham, though. Uh, 34 across the I-20 corridor over in eastern Alabama, 35 in Tuscaloosa. You can see those colder temperatures up across north Alabama. Some of those areas saw snow flurries overnight, no accumulations though. You can see the really cold air uh, engulfing much of the United States right now. 40 degrees below zero this morning, Crane Lake, Minnesota. <laughs> That's cold. The Chiefs. Uh, Patriots AFC Championship game uh, today at Kansas City. Not as cold as we expected. Looks like lower 20s for that game. That's still cold enough for me. Teens uh, for the uh, uh, for the wind chill temperature. Here's the reason that uh, trough axis swinging through Alabama this morning. You can see the back door uh, open all the way up into Canada, bringing some cold air into uh, the eastern United States. You can see though more of a parting shot for us than we uh, really kind of expected. Uh, high temperatures today across the area. Uh, Tuscaloosa may see 40. Places like Demopolis, uh, lower 40s down through Montgomery uh, in the US 80 ca uh, in the US 80 corridor, uh, calling for uh, middle to upper 30s across central Alabama, lower to middle 30s uh, across north Alabama, parts of uh, northeast Alabama, uh, up around um, the radar up there in High Top in, nor in north Alabama near Huntsville. Uh, over into parts of Jackson County may not get above freezing today. Now, we've got an eclipse tonight, a total lunar eclipse. Starts uh, somewhere around 1040, I believe. Um, lasts about three and a half hours. It's going to be a beautiful event. Uh, but if you're going to be out uh, checking out the eclipse tonight, you're going to want to bundle up. Temperatures will be falling out of the 30s into the to the upper 20s during the event. So if you're going to be outside uh, enjoying the uh, blood moon tonight, uh, make sure that you bundle up. Now, here's uh, one, Here's Lowe's Monday morning, tomorrow morning. Uh, again, not quite as cold as we expected. We'll be some lower middle 20s in the Tennessee Valley. Uh, middle and upper 20s across the I-20 corridor with some uh, readings uh, at or right below freezing across south central Alabama. So uh, a very cold morning expected uh, for your Monday morning. Now, Monday at noon. Uh, GFS shows a high pressure over Ohio in control of Alabama's weather. No precipitation anywhere near us will be in good shape. Move forward to Tuesday. Next weather maker on the boards. Low pressure moving out of Kansas into Missouri. Uh, and as it does, that strong low pressure is going to be increasing winds over Alabama. They'll be coming out of the south. Uh, and winds and moisture will be increasing as we go through the day. Now, by 
uh, you'll see increasing showers Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night. The real rain comes in on Wednesday. Wednesday will be a warm day. High temperatures topping out in the uh, near 60 to lower 60 degree range. Uh, could there be a thunderstorm or two involved on Wednesday? Yeah, maybe. Uh, but nothing severe, no severe look for that. And look on the back side. You see uh, places like western Tennessee, northwestern Mississippi, uh, a wintry precipitation mix, some freezing rain, some sleet, maybe some snow on the back side of that. We'll be watching that as it pulls into Alabama. We'll call for a chance of rain changing over to snow flurries Wednesday night and early Thursday morning, turning sharply colder as uh, we go through time. Temperatures on Thursday uh, will be falling through the 40s. And uh, then Friday looks to be a pretty frigid day uh, across Alabama. Now, this is Thursday. Well, no, this is really Wednesday night still. Uh, 06Z Thursday, which would be midnight Wednesday night, showing uh, those uh, snow flurries continuing into uh, central Alabama. We'll be watching that system. Um, not really expecting any accumulations from it, but again, that's something we have to watch. Uh, Thursday, later in the day, uh, cold air. Um, we'll be beginning to move into Alabama, but the real cold air will arrive Thursday night and Friday. You can see we're in full-on uh, cold air advection on Friday. Uh, high pressure to our west will be uh, cold and dry on that day. Now, moving into Saturday, look at that clipper system moving through the Great Lakes, and that's interesting. Uh, snows breaking out of parts of Illinois, parts of Indiana, Ohio, sliding onto the southeast. GFS misses us with this system. Uh, keeps it to the north of us, um, and that's very plausible. I think that could happen. Sunday we stay in that northwesterly flow, uh, more uh, clipper-type snows across uh, parts of Kentucky and Tennessee, and as we move into Sunday, well, that's the same graphic. But look at the European. Uh, European actually thinks that we might see more snow out of the system. Uh, Saturday night into Sunday morning, uh, developing a, sort of a surprise two-inch snow uh, for parts of uh, northeast east central Alabama. That's entirely plausible. Uh, not a forecast. It's just model data at this point, but it's something that we're going to watch. We probably we do have snow in the official forecast. I didn't have to tweak Scott's forecast this morning. It's nearly perfect. But uh, that uh, wild card will be next Saturday night and Sunday. Here's temperatures on the roller coaster from the GFS showing uh, us having a hard time getting out of the 30s today. We'll be in the 40s tomorrow, uh, maybe back into the low 50s on Tuesday. We'll see uh, lower 60s on Wednesday and then uh, back off the other side again, 40s on Thursday. Uh, probably don't get above freezing or at least out of the 30s on Friday. Uh, a little warmer on Saturday ahead of that system, but falling temperatures and uh, we probably stay below freezing again next Sunday, but then we start to warm up again. Let's uh, go out in uh, in time. This is uh, this will be Tuesday night, the 29th. Our next uh, weather maker out there uh, showing a chance of rain uh, for Alabama coming in here on Tuesday night, the 29th. And rain has been the story. Uh, this is the last 30 days uh, from the NOAA. Uh, water.weather.gov site showing uh, a large part of central Alabama picking up 6 to 10 inches of rain over the past 30 days. Some places there, parts of Walker, uh, southern Coleman, northern Jefferson County, ten, over 10 inches of rain. Uh, so uh, as you can see, uh, it's been wet. And uh, this shows up in the 90-day uh, uh, the 90-day precipitation series across uh, uh, across Alabama here at Birmingham. Uh, starting around November 1st, we turned wet, and it's been an increasing set of uh, wet weather systems since then. Now running some uh, six and a half inches of rain uh, above normal, uh, even before yesterday's inch or so that we picked up across much of the Birmingham metro area. Now, voodoo territory moving out to the end of the month. This will be uh, Thursday night at 30, showing a, uh, a big wet weather system. Uh, working its way in here. Now that's your Weather Extreme video for this Sunday, the 20th of January. Sorry for the length of this one. Just get caught up in the moment. Uh, so if you enjoyed these maps, go outside and take a look at the sky because uh, as you look up, you'll always have something fun to look at.